Oh. We are live from 1UP Games. Uh, it is March 12th, and that only means one thing, that we are live with the 1UP Games Apex Open. Thank God! Hooray! Woo! We have been waiting for this moment for a long time. Today is our first custom matchmaking PC lobby tournament. I am Mountain, the community outreach manager with 1UP Games. And to my left is my partner in crime, the one, the only, Toaster Ryan. Yep, and yeah, I'm just Ryan. I really, no, no offense. <laughs> just Ryan. <laughs> so. Nice intro. So uh, the stream is up. Everybody, welcome, welcome, welcome. Uh, special thanks to everyone here at 1UP Games for making this happen. Um, an extra, extra special thanks to EA uh, for making this happen. I know, uh, and I'm sure Ryan, you as well. Oh, yeah. We have been waiting for custom matchmaking for a long time. We realize that this is PC, everybody. Um, we did get word that console will be coming, hopefully in a few months. I know I'm an Xbox player. I'm an Xbox player as well. So we are definitely waiting for that, but we are really happy and thankful uh, that you know, we at least have PC lobbies right now. So everyone get hyped, get excited. Uh, this is our first Apex Open custom matchmaking. We do have a few teams here outside right now uh, at the uh, Gaming Center in Plainville, Massachusetts. We have Andrew's team, they are in and ready. And then we have another team as well that is unnamed as you can see. There you go, the Epic Gamers. As we said it, they are here. Oh and they are no longer Epic Gamers. But Andrew's team is solid. They're good, they're our first team in. Yes. So, you know, as we approach the seven o'clock hour, we, we look to start then. So if anyone's having any issues trying to get in or questions, please, you know, absolutely ask on the Twitch chat, ask in Discord, we are here and we are waiting. Um, we're really excited to get this, this going. Uh, we've been kind of messing around with the controls Oh yes. As far as custom matchmaking, and let me just say, they are awesome. This is going to be fun. Uh, we're really pumped up to do it. So, hello, hello, Sniper Snorlax. Hello, how are you? Thank huh, you for joining I us. Almost, There's I almost Jay. feel like I know that name. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Bird, what's going on, Bird? This will be legendary. This we're will so, be legendary. We are so pumped up right now. Um, you know what? I'm, I'm ditching this. It's hot, it's sweaty. So, let's see, we have two teams in right now. Oh, about to get clapped, they changed their name. And we have the Epic Gamers. So we are waiting for those other teams to join us. If anybody is in Discord who needs help, uh, or anybody who needs help, please reach out in Twitch chat or Discord, uh, getting into the match. A butt to get clapped. A butt to get clapped, <laughs> right, that works. <laughs> like your cut, G. Oh no, his, his his homework's done. We made oh, yeah. sure of that. I, well. Oh, a dance party already. Come on, it's too early for that. We'll wait We'll wait till later on. Let's see some dubs first. Let's see some epic uh, Apex action going on here. Um, yeah. Yes, okay. it is PC only right now, Smash Bro fan. But we are getting console really soon. Our contact at EA, they said that's coming, so stay tuned. Yes, I can't wait. I can't wait. You know, maybe when Xbox does come, yes. we won't be the broadcasters and maybe someone else can do it so we can play because it's going to be really epic. Um, <laughs> I look forward to Come on. But, but we will. We'll broadcast that one as well. We're um, about to clap up. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So let's see. We still have two teams and we have, I think, five teams registered. Mm -hmm. oh. And Sorry, those two started. aren't even registered one time. No, these those are. are people who are at our amazing game center right now yes so um, these two teams team one and team two they're here um, they hadn't registered previously so they're unexpected which is great we add two more teams to the uh, the fray so let's let's give them a few more minutes to get in here anybody in discord trying to get in please reach out um, if you're you're watching the twitch streaming trying to get in please reach out the codes were sent out so, once we get the teams in here, we will get rolling. I'm going to double check that Twitch channel. Catwood's in the Twitch channel. And not in the Twitch channel, the Discord channel. So, Ryan, Ryan, is Flashpoint Raid Skin coming out soon? Flashpoint Raid Skin <laughs> is leaving soon. Yeah. Woo! 
and then know, everyone's gonna ask about sunset wraith you know i was gonna get it but then the bangalore heirloom came out and i just it wasn't worth it i don't like wraith as it is generally you know that i normally want all the recolors but i just don't have legend tokens right I now just, i spent them all I, I wanted to uh i wanted to wait i'd rather get all the bangalore bangalore event heirlooms the chaos event stuff they're just a lot cooler it is. Solo is here. What's up? Hey. Rock and roll hand solo. How are ya? Where's my sword? More like, where are you at, bird? You were supposed to come down here to play. Where's oh. where's bird team? And fish. Bring fish, too. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so hopefully we get some more teams in here. The teams that are registered, um, they haven't popped up. Like I said, please reach out if you're having trouble through Discord or Twitch. Um, we have people standing by to help you out. So, da, da, da. yeah, <laughs> exactly. It's a waiting game. I mean, it is 702. So where are these other teams at? You know? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So, my God, these small dogs. <laughs> so, like I said, we were playing around with this before um, the stream got started, and it's, it's awesome. It's just like the ALGS. Um, Format where we can fly around, we can view any team, we can go third person, which is really awesome. We can see who's firing. So we're really excited to get this going. Once again, guys, you know what? One thing we didn't realize is that we can actually pick the map. So why don't we put it out there to the Twitch audience? What do you guys want to see? We can pick. Let's look. Uh, we can pick King's Canyon, which is actually the King's Canyon from right now. We can pick World's Edge Season 6, which I miss World's Edge. I wish we had it back right now. Mm -hmm. But we can pick Olympus. So let's leave it up to uh, let's leave it up to a vote. Let's see it in Twitch chat right now. How many people want Kings Canyon, World's Edge, or Olympus? Not a cop. Say, oh, Jason with a beard. Sorry, you always used to be not a cop. Jay says World's <laughs> Edge. That's one vote for World's Edge. Kings Canyon season one. No, it's actually Kings Canyon season now. Oh, season eight. Rock your jersey, no name nerd jerseys. What? You... I do. I have mine. Yeah, I know you have yours. What does it say now? Okay, the cot. Oh yeah, it's on underneath. It was a little you're, chilly in here. You're blinded. I will. I will. Can't see that far away. <laughs> yeah, I, I have my my no name nerd jersey on. I can throw that on. I have a white T-shirt. Yeah, <laughs> that's about it. There we go. All oh right. gosh, this is turning into a different type of stream. Okay. Via the internet. There you go, there's my... Via there's the my internet. It's saying happy dub day. Oh, what's up via the internet? It's happy dub. It's not dub day today. It is the Apex Open. Dub day is coming though, March 21st at 4.30. So um, our players are already picked. So please, via the internet, please tune in uh, March 21st at 4.30 to see our next dub day. It's going to be awesome. But today uh, is epic because it's our first custom matchmaking PC tournament. It's our Apex Open and we're really stoked that this is going on. And, so like I said, special thanks to EA for making this happen, writing us the code so we can do this. <laughs> I do. No, I don't, you know. Oh, there it is. It was a one-up game sweatshirt to a one-up game shirt. So um, this is the no-name nerd jersey that I got, which is pretty amazing and epic. So. Dude. Yeah, I know. I can, you know, rock and roll hand solo. I could put my, you know, this is for you. I can find them. I know how you roll. Oh, definitely worth taking over yeah. my spotlight. There you go. That's for you, rock and roll hands solo. I know how you. I know how you roll. I'm probably not gonna leave it on the whole time. Although the monitors are bright enough in here, I could do that. Yes, sunglass gang. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> oh, I forgot to bring my blue lights. No. Oh, ah. That would have worked. Hopefully, I know. Now, I will have to test them out. So we're still at two teams. Get clapped in the Epic Gamers right now. Um, <laughs> I want to get this started because I'm really excited to see the match and, and, and fly around and watch these teams battle it out. Hopefully the other teams come and, uh, and get in here. Um, I'm going to go check 
real quick and see what's going on. See Couple this... are joining in a few. Awesome. Excellent. Yes. And cancel me. I wear glasses, Jason. How dare I insult my own kind. <laughs> but not these glasses. That's dun, true. Dun, you dun. have the cool sunglasses. You have the FBI indoor agents. You can wear sunglasses. these if you want to. No. No, okay. I, I yeah, so like I said, rock and roll hand solo, that's for you. So, get clapped, Epic Gamers. You know, if we can add two more teams, that would be great. Otherwise, it's a really big map um, for them to find each other. So, let's go and get good loot. So, we're going to start off with what are we I just saw one vote. What do you guys want? We can do World's Edge, we can do Olympus, we can do. All of them in order. We, we can, can do, do. Yeah. What, whatever. Like I said, your vote. We can do the map coming next season. I wish we could do the map coming <laughs> next season. But I really thought this was interesting. We can do Olympus with no ring. How long will they wander around? How long will that match yeah, be? That was, that'd be a very long match. So. Your glasses wear glasses. That's pretty cool. Nice talent. Absolutely. Mm. So we lost the team names for some reason. Hopefully it's not that every time we go back into a map. Hey, awesome Andrew. Andrew, Andrew awesome. awesome 122. You need to join a team. And guys, once you go into the team, you can name your team. Please keep it somewhat civil um, for a team name. Entertaining is great, but keep it civil. Um, guys, what, after the match is over, um, do not leave. Please stay in the match. Uh, stay in the lobby and so we can get the, the match stats. And it looks like we have one more person coming in now. Andrew Awesome 122 is still unassigned. So three teams getting made up right now, which is excellent. Uh, Jason, yeah, we can do different game mode types, but we have to get that ahead of time. So we could do solos one day if you guys really want that. So yeah, keep it in mind. I mean, there's more people in there. They could solo queue right now. But they could, but you'd be up against a team of three. It's like doing no fill in a normal game, which right. I tried earlier. It's pretty tough. <laughs> but Jay's a sweat, so that he is would be, true. He'd be fine. Jay is a sweat. He'd be great. Sweaty crypto. Yes, the Maggie ring thing. I actually really like it. Do you guys like the 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 Maggie ring thing, as uh, Jay calls it? I enjoy it. I really liked round one of it, where it would spawn randomly, but this big one in the middle, mm, it should move. It's tough. It's tough. Well, I mean, I I enjoy it, because like you said before, when we were talking about it, is it really adds a different dynamic to the game. It does. Um, the, another one does spawn. It's not just that mm -hmm. one single one. So, I mean, I was just playing a match before I left, and, and obviously there was that big one right in the middle, and then one popped up right at the end circle, which kind of just divided all three teams so I really enjoy it all right so we have some more some more people joining right now excellent yes we are playing apex uh, kilo kilo main yes this is our uh, first ever apex open it's a custom matchmaking PC lobby and it is official um, so we're really pumped up about it don't worry, console's coming soon. Yeah. I see you with the crying emoji. Yeah, it's we, coming. We, we feel the same way. We, we really wish it was console too, but you know what? That's on its way, so let's have something to look forward to right now. Um, all right, so we have four teams, two solo queues right now. We have Sup, Flying with Thanks Oil. And, well, the name uh, is changing. Ooh, okay, right now they're the blanks. So team one and team two, if you can hear us right now, you need to name your team, please. Just because it's... It's okay, Kilo. I'm on Xbox, too. So is Mountain. Yeah, we're on Xbox. One more join, and then we can launch. Yes. Soon enough, console will be coming. Soon enough. One more join, and then we can launch. Okay. Awesome. So, Team 1 and Team 2. If you want to stay Team 1 and Team 2, that's fine. But remember, you can get creative with these names. The JoJo Stands. Andrew Awesome 122. Excellent. Do you have a do you have a team member, Andrew Awesome 122? Or are you just going solo? <laughs> just going right for just it. Just going right for it. Just boom, right in there. Alright. 
We will be launching very soon. Thank you for joining us. If you're just tuning in, this is the Apex Open. We have our custom matchmaking for PC lobbies right now. Um, we've been looking forward to this the entire time. The next Apex event, guys, coming your way is Apex Dub Day. It's going to be on March 21st at 4.30. Please join us for that. This will be the second Apex Dub Day that we've had. We had a blast the first time. We, got, we picked our players. People won some money. Um, somebody won money just from viewing. So That's true. Yeah. Uh, after that, we're going to have another one of these, uh, Apex uh, Custom Matchmaking PC Tournament. That's going to be on April 16th at 7 p.m., so stay tuned for that. Join our Discord um, to keep up to date on all of our 1UP Games tournaments. It's not just Apex. We have a lot of stuff coming your way, so that's all listed in our Discord channel as well. All the fun stuff. Yes. Mm -hmm. So come on, guys. Get in here so we can launch. We're excited. How many more are we expecting? I think we were expecting. Is that a JoJo more. reference, Bird? I that think is, so. It's, it says the JoJo stand, so. That is true. If it's a one up games community <laughs> event and you're a server booster, then you get double the rewards. Ooh, good point. Yeah, stuff like Dub Day. Good point. So, you know, we Big do. Leagues. Just for watching on their next Apex Dub Day, um, like I said, which is March 21st. Uh, what we do is we say five words during the entire stream. If you want to join us for the next dub day after that, just be the first one to DM me and you will get in a spot. I'm going to pick the first five people. You will get a spot in the next dub day. The very first person to message me all five words after dub day is over is going to win themselves $10 in digital console currency. And if they are a um, Discord booster, it doubles, which is great. So, all right, and we are all set to go. All right, we got five teams. Kings Let's... Canyon, here we go. I hope everyone's ready. Get clapped. Epic Gamers, Sup, and the Tongue JoJo book. stands. Let's go. Four teams. Here we go, guys. Five We're starting teams. at ten. Team twenty. Team twenty snuck in there. Whoa! All the way down in the corner. Excellent. Three, two, one. Good luck, everybody. And with that, the earthquake started. Did you, did? <laughs> yeah. did you hear that? Anybody hear that? We're going to space. It's kind of nice, though. Yeah. At 7 out of 60 players. So That's good odds. A purple backpack and purple helmet in the crafting rotation and the purple extended light mag and then a scope that I don't use. So I'm not even going to talk about it. I use that scope. That's a really good scope. Okay. G7, longbow, perfect. Okay. Okay, I got gotcha. you. 30-30, any gun that will take. Mm -hmm. I always carry the biggest scope. So who's it going to be? Anybody predictions just on the name of the team at this point? I mean, come on, someone's got to have predictions on the, on the winner. Andrew's going to win. That's my bet. No, I mean, no favoritism, Andrew. Is it going to be a, a team with two people, or is it going to be a solo? I don't know. Solos can be sweaty. Who knows? Relaxers might be out there right now. Relaxus could do it. He I mean, could do it. Know. He won Warzone. Very different game than Warzone, but if you have that battle royale mentality, you know, it's any man's game. Alright, here we go. Looks like we're spectating Get Glapo? <laughs> get Glapped. <laughs> get Glapped? Get, get Glapped. Let's get glapped. here. I know, so you still have yet to play with us. Alright. Let's explore, so it looks like that. I alright, now with no stream sniping, it looks like they're going to artillery. Alright, we got Well, we got ooh, we got two teams going to artillery. Ooh, some early action. Yeah, it's on the map right now, you can so see teams, that. Two teams are at artillery, looks like somebody's going to the pit. Um, there's still one team aboard the ship. And then one is going towards salvage. They're going for the hot zone. That's a pretty smart play. Right now we're looking at the Epic Gamers. The Epic Gamers. They're each on one side of the map. Blue Shield and Hemlock right there. Oh, that's pretty good. Sentinel Hemlock. That's, that's a dream combo right there. Excellent combo. That's teamwork. So we know that there is another team here. Let's go look at his teammate, who is still looting. Yep, they both seem to be in the left side of the building. And we get the other team here, they're right in the center. 
They don't even seem to see each other at all yet. Oh, no, life one. There's shield. Oh! I thought that that was that one. Oh my gosh, this is circle after circle. Hit fire after two, seven, it works. Oh, oh fun. Can we get a finisher live on here? No? Okay. Oh, no, the uh, team member must be coming. Whoa. A, a charge rifle. Oh, oh. oh. <laughs> Maybe see something we don't. Seeing a ghost. I believe this is this is our get glap. Get glap is. Yep, they seem to have a massive. Did they take out that other team? No, it looks like they're bloodhounds coming in for revenge. <laughs> Yep. Ooh, they both got the G7. Bloodhound v. Bloodhound. Oh, one down. One for one. Bloodhounds. Bloodhound is Bloodhound. He cracked his shield to 34. It is the G7 v. G7. Oh, he's finishing the teammate. Oh, he's finishing the teammate. Oh, so close. Once that devotion gets ramped, you know, ramped up, it's really hard to get out of that fire spread. It is. Now we're going to see our Bloodhound here, PC1, resin up our Pathfinder. Get clapped, revives his teammate. Nice job. Uh, let's go to the map and check out another team here. I hear celebrating in the other room yes. as well. <laughs> so this is Andrew. This is the JoJo stands. This is a solo queue. Andrew Awesome 122 is looting. Uh, he's rocking a 30-30 repeater and a sentinel. Now this is who I have my money on right here. Look at that. Contact oh, rain sentinel. They just tried to punch wood. They did try to That punch would be a very game. unique thing if they could just break it. Look at that sentinel. I actually really like it. Yeah, that is a very good epic. There he goes through. So we'll check on the other solo right now. Uh, they look like they are going to run into each other eventually if they keep going this way. Well, Might be something good this way. On Yes, yeah, some people may have not played keyboard and mouse before, so they're saw getting into it. Mm -hmm. So this is a wraith with a triple take and a vault. Wow, this wraith, this wraith is strafing. They're pretty sweaty. I don't know. This was our this was our team number twenty person as well. It was. This was our mystery, our mystery man, our mystery woman. So we will have to see who Let's they are. See, so no one up. We'll just call him one up seven for now. Is heading towards the circle, and so is Andrew's awesome. Hopefully they'll they'll intercept each other. Call him like the Umbrella Academy. Seven, one, two, <laughs> <laughs> number one. So we'll go back up to the duos team up here. Uh, get glapped. Seems to be still, still a looting. Bit. Yeah. In, in Ooh, artillery I area. Might want to switch back to those other two here. Because they seem to be, oh no, they were going towards each other, but not anymore. The mm -hmm. orange and seven. Awesome and seven. So let's go look at Andrew Awesome right now. <laughs> sort of now his inventory. Smart strategy, smart uh -huh. strategy. Never have too many. Oh, that's true. No one did go caustic treatment. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's, some, that's, that's very true, because there's definitely three legendary items there without a doubt, so that'd be a really smart play. Although we did see Awesome Andrew go salvage. They might be intercepting here very soon. They are. Uh, uh, here we're going to go, go back to our PC of, off to their left. They just don't see them. Let's see if we can find them from the other way. Although Wraith does hear something. And that scope on ready. Yep. This Wraith has, has experience with the game. I'm wondering who they are. Doesn't, they have experience doesn't realize PC. we do know that Pathfinder is behind her. It looks like she may have heard something. Let's Should we go switch, back. switch back on over to let's, Pathfinder? Let's is go this? back to Path. To, to JoJo's oh, there is. Oh, he's right below where she just was. She heard something. She didn't quite know. But Andrew is... Andrew Awesome 122 has the 3030 out. Great weapon for from where he stands now to where Wraith is. If he gets close though, it might be a little bit dangerous, because I believe that Wraith had a volt. I believe it was a volt and a triple tape. And I've been using ultimate colors a lot more lately. Uh, oh yeah. Now that I've been using Bangalore a lot, it's really worth it. I never used to pick them up, but uh, in a firefight. 
getting the Bangalore alt or even... Yeah, I almost wish that you could hold them in that little inventory spot that they just added with the heat shields and the mobile respawns. So that's a good point. You know what I found out about that inventory slot is that if you pick up a mobile respawn beacon, it replaces your heat shield. Yes. You can't hold both. So you're either holding, in, the, in this game mode, the heat shield, or you're holding a mobile respawn beacon. Yep, and you you can hold two mobile uh, so respawns, I believe, as well. Wraith is getting some height right now. I'm not sure. I'm going to go over to... Height on the path. Uh, Andrew. Yeah. Oh, no, Andrew is still looting up. He's looting out more towards the cage over here. Mm -hmm. Still got that beautiful, beautiful purple Sentinel skin on his back. You know, gotta gotta respect the style in tournaments like these. Absolutely. So we knew no Wraith is above him. Let's take a look at the overhead map here for a second and find out where the duo team is. They're just leaving artillery now. They've taken their time to loot, you know, lolling gagging along, but you know what? That's okay. Hopefully they come out of there. Let's go see what they have for loot at the moment. Yes. Um, so still Hemlock Sentinel and G7, G7 Devotion. Devo. Hmm. So hopefully you can pick up a turbocharger with that Devotion. Otherwise it yes. takes a while to wind up. But they are a little bit low on HP as well. And running into walls a little bit. Who knows? You know, it might okay. be a strategy. Might be trying to confuse any other bloodhounds. <laughs> it's the wall strategy. It is. It's wall jumping. But the ring know? is coming in, guys, at 30 seconds to the next round. Um, they just realized that, and they're starting to run for it. We can change the quality of the loot, but we have to, like, select that ahead of the tournament. That's another one of those things, just like the game mode. Because the only other setting would be shotguns and snipers. Oh. Only Krabers. That would be fun. So That'd Bloodhound fun. uses ultimate piece of hunt is on. Let's take an overhead look at where the other teams are. Um, still no one has encountered each other on the, these teams at the moment. Um, Andrew's awesome. He's heading towards center. It looks up the get lapped is still kind of running around the edge of the map, which is a, a great technique. I actually like to do that. It is. Piece of the Hunt is about to run out here. I am starting to realize no one really has a fancy skin on right now. As really? Uh, let's see. Yes. I mean, oh, actually, that is the rarest Pathfinder skin. There we go. So you eat your words, right? Yeah, look at that. Eat, <laughs> that's eat like, your words. That is the Star Wars exclusive Pathfinder What's skin. Okay, now that now that Ryan just called it out, let's go back and check out again. Star Wars exclusive Pathfinder skin. Yeah, I like his chest piece. Wonder if I can get a photo. I know I have a photo of it. Ryan, let's are you see. jealous of this? I am jealous of the skin because I own Jedi Fallen Order, but I don't own the skin because it was very exclusive. So we're gonna zoom out here and hopefully we'll get some action. Um, we'll see what Andrew Awesome 122 is doing at the moment. Let's see what skin he has on. All right, so that is the original Pathfinder, but here it is right here. It looks like they may be coming into each other now. One up, seven is slowly approaching. Um, I don't know if you guys can Andrew's see awesome. it. Nah, you can't. The glare. Ah, it's too bad. Ooh, it is really it is. beautiful. It is. I mean, for a Star Wars crossover with Apex, you're happy with anything. So, one up seven is is close. They were close to Andrew Awesome. However, they are splitting up now. But it looks like Andrew and Awesome and um, the Get Black Boys are probably going to come into contact first. Looking forward to that fight. Mm. Uh, it's going to be a two against one, but you never know how it goes. Apex is one of those games. You just don't give up till it's over. Yes, and are the other two closing in on each other? It looks like number seven could be heading up towards where awesome Andrew is right now. But Sniper's it all matters on which way he decides to rotate, whether that be right of labs or left. Oh, a nice view of Andrew awesome. I am wondering who's on which of these game center PCs. I, I want to know who's got the... What do you guys think? Who's out there playing right now? We know that there are some uh, players here in the game center playing, but there's some mystery people that joined in. I'm uh, very curious who number seven is, because number seven seems to be doing some strength. Here they we go. We're going to have to battle pretty soon. We have Andrew Awesome and the Get Glass Boys. They are coming closer and closer. Oh. All right. We'll have to see this. 
it looks like um, you know, there's only a few buildings away up on this cliff right now. They zoom in on there. Uh, hopefully, they are going around capacitor. And here we go. Let's get ready. It looks like Andrew Awesome it knows where they are, waiting on that care package to drop. Ooh. So might not know completely where, just knows that they're on the opposite side. Doesn't look side. like Get Glap knows there's a care package coming in at the moment. So let's go back to Andrew Awesome. Let's see what he gets out of this care package. I de he has his Sentinel amp up and he's charging it all of the time. So I'm wondering, he must know that there's some one up seven is now looks like they're on the zip line they're moving pretty quickly uh, trying to you know, get away they're from flying. that ring <laughs> so let's go back to it was awesome let's see what he gets I'm calling a peacekeeper right here huh? oh. oh prowler prowler great Look gun that. decides not to go with the prowler Taking the sen oh my actually take the after Sentinel. all. Okay, that's very interesting. We got some close range. We got some heavy hitting hard range. I've been going Sentinel a lot more lately. I haven't played the Sentinel at all this season. I used to like the Sentinel. I just haven't done it. That is a clip the other day, and I had shot like two people with it, and I was just like, oh, I need to play this more. So it looks like this is going to come down to that final circle where everyone's going to battle it out. Um, I believe that Get Glap boys heard that zip line and are kind of approaching. They are split up though, so this might be a chance for the solo queues to actually uh, do some damage. To the uh, they are split up at the moment. They could become the meat of the sandwich. Mm -hmm. In solo, don't you worry. Me and Mountain will be on like 8 p.m. your time tomorrow. Here we, we go. Can train. Here we go. They're coming into each other. As he found them, Ooh. they are on top of each other. They they could hear one of the get clap boys just heard Andrew, but couldn't find him at the moment. It almost seems like he is right above them. So we can see that is the teammate of get clapped. And then I believe if we could, Ooh. well, I guess it doesn't let me click any team. There we go. There's awesome. So it seems like Awesome is sort of running away here. Yeah, Awesome flew from that battle, maybe because he saw that they were a duo. You know, waiting, waiting for them to at least lose one. So I'm curious to see what, no, no, because that's not what happened. I think we just got a no sign from uh, Andrew Austin. <laughs> he just waved his head right here. Um, it looks like he's just following the leading to the center ring. Keeping that center card is smart. He knows that. You know, there are other players and the rings are smaller. He's, he's gonna get into a firefight Ooh, pretty soon. Oh, it does look like seven is coming really close to they Andrew are in here. The exact same area. Let's let's get out of this map view and let's look at this battle. Alright, so Ooh, I guess that I guess this thing just does not like me that much. Which team is So they're all in on each other at the moment. Come on, click seven. Apparently seven doesn't have. <laughs> so seven doesn't have a number. Seven knows that there are people around. Ooh. Alright. So oh, someone just opened up a box. From, uh, get is down and trying to deal as soon as possible. Oh, and eliminated. See you later. Get Glap is out, I believe. Yes, Get Glap. Get Glap. Get Glap. Just got get absolutely Glap. destroyed. So we might want to check on Awesome Andrew over awesome here. Andrew's he also is. Oh, he's getting damaged through the window. He might want armor swap with that blue. He pulls out the central. There's just a few seconds left of it being charged. Oh, Wraith pulls Ooh. her portal just in time. Reload. Final shot. The slow down slow. Oh, oh nice a zip line shot. 
right into the end. JoJo stands. Andrew Austin, 122, is the champion of our game. Guys, don't quit the match. Stay in the match, please. Good job, we Andrew. We need to get your match stacks. There you go. Andrew Austin, 122, is our first champion of the very first game of our Apex Open. Congratulations. Uh, took a while to get into a battle there, but that's kind of what happens. Um, well played. Well played. And that was a good move to pick up that Prowler, too. Yes, that was a very good move, because that just saved his life. And, Andrew, I knew you had it in you right from the front. In Agario, in the Twitch chat, I wish I could do a flip. Mal might be able to do it. I a cannot flip. flip. I will break my head. No, so, well, <laughs> there we go. Here we so go. Check out. So we're going to put this up on the match on the on the screen real quick. Andrew Awesome had two kills, did 314 damage. He was our champion. Um, Team 20, which is PC7 here, had one kill and 298 damage. Not bad damage at all right there. Uh, Get Glapped, though, uh, the first player, not sure what their name was. Their damage was 532. That was, some, that was I think, the highest damage in the game. Um, yes. With two kills. And then Epic Gamers... They had no kills, but some decent damage there. They and did. And then sup. So I'm showing five teams right now. Um, did we have five teams before? Yeah, we did have did five did? teams. One of them, I believe, fell off the map at the beginning. No, oh, okay. I'm not That's exactly sure. I thought we started that. off with four. So let me make sure that Catwood here has recorded all the information. All right. well, yeah. You guys already launched. Can I got the score? You do? You're good? Yeah, I'm okay. good to go. Um, and for some reason, Brian had a, a connection issue at the beginning. He kicked right away. Was okay. Was that nine that fell off the map? Or yeah. Something? Okay. I am curious. Who is on the PC number seven? I thought so. Oh, <laughs> we had some cosmetics too. All right, guys. So you can go ahead. Also, um, you we have to uh, re rename your team every time. So if you want to be the same team, that would really help us out. I know it's so we're not guessing. Um, so if you yes. want to name your team, please name it the same thing you had last time so we know we're watching the same person. Um, once again, GG's Andrew Awesome 122. Uh, first champion of our first ever custom matchmaking PC tournament here at 1UP Games. Um, we've been waiting a long time for this. That's so, written in history books. Yes, so please, uh, Go name your teams, guys, because right now we have team one, two, three, four, and five. I really want you to uh, please individualize this so it's not so boring. PC7 is Rue. I do know that. So if you want a team, name that one Zach or something. PC8 must be Mr. 1UP, I would assume. Ooh, it's head-to-head. -head. And then the two duos, I do not know. One of them was Get Glapped. I believe that one and two were Get Glapped. Yes. So this is Get Glapped right here. Yes. So I could rename them. I want to make sure, though. I want to give them a chance to actually name their own team here. Um, Andrew Awesome 122, if you can hear us, please name your team again. We have to go, we're going to have to do it every single time. They um, are ready to launch. So Excellent, excellent. So we're going to World's Edge Season 6. Oh, wait. wait. Jason's going to be joining us. Oh, wait. Jason's joining? All right, well, there we go. Get on in here. Excellent. All right, in so the guys, meantime, we're gonna, we're gonna pause. So guys, you have a few seconds. Please name your team. Andrew Awesome Ooh. is now joining up. The champion is joining up Ooh. with whoever team three is. I believe that was Get Glapped. Get Glapped and JoJo. So maybe it's Get JoJo, or Get Yeah. Ah. You haven't been playing for a long time. Well, uh -oh. you know what? Whoa. Everyone's a solo. We doing solos now? Everyone's moving around. Oh, whoa. So we have five We're teams. Bouncing. We're almost ready to go. We're waiting for the wonderful, notorious Jason with a beard. Um, Big beard guy. Let's see if he can get in here. Very fancy. Well, Andrew Awesome 122 has said you haven't been playing for that long, but you know what? You're still the champion, and that's all that matters. Yes. Some nice moves with Pathfinder right there. I'd be proud of those moves. Mm -hmm. You were smart enough to wait on that... that uh, care package and get get the oh. prowler out of there. There's our boy Jason. Oh, and here comes the notorious, not a cop 420. And let's see what team he's gonna pick. I'm sure he'll put a wonderful team name on because he's notorious and very clever. All right, we will see you, Solo. Our teammates. See you are. later, Rock Roll Hand Solo. They are enabled, right? Team names. Let me check. They should be. Yes, allow player. Huh. So you can name your own team. I'm gonna 
turn that off and turn it back on again. Guys, um, if you can, you might be able to name your own team now, but we're gonna start the match in about 10 seconds. Uh, if you can name your team, great. If you can't, we'll, we'll, we'll make up names. <laughs> Which no, we, we got do. we got Star Wars, Zach, Andrew Awesome, one and two, three and five. Thank you. Thank you, Nauticop, for naming your team. <laughs> uh, and here we go, guys. We're gonna start it up. So now we have six teams going to this. Four of those are there we go. Oh, They're the team names. Get Glapped, Epic Gamers. Clapped. Bird is trash. <laughs> um and team three, four, and five. And here we go. We're going to start it. Here's World's Edge Season 6. Let's go. So uh, your predictions, Ryan, as we load up into this match. Now, this was very interesting because Zach came in second place, someone who has never played the game before. Mm -hmm. So makes me wonder. Well, I think it goes back to what I was saying before. Is he has that Battle Royale Warzone experience. That is true. In his blood. He has that battle awareness. Um, it's really just learning the guns and that awesome the awesome Andrew the prowler really saved him in that fight So I don't know and it's gonna be interesting to see Jason up in the mix now. and world's edge is back I'm really jealous that you know They get to play world's edge right now because as we know world's That's edge true. is not in rotation um, in pubs or, or Ranked right now so and actually a disadvantage for Jason because Jason has never played on world's edge wait because yeah. He started in the beginning of this season, right? Right, Jason? I think he has played World's Edge. I, I don't know. Jason, Jay, have you played World's Edge? Jay, have World's you Edge? played World's Edge? We're <laughs> debating this right now. I say he has. I say that he started this season. Because no. I know that he started like a week before the anniversary event. But season eight, so he only played in season seven. It's season eight right now. Right. I don't know. We'll wait and see. He'll, he'll most likely respond. Most likely. Most likely. <laughs> there he goes. Oh, the first season. So World's Edge wasn't in the first season either. Because that was King's Canyon for the first three. And here we go. So the dropship is rolling. Oh, right okay. now we're viewing Get Clapped. But now it is Get Clapped. Okay, so that's changed. We're not clapped anymore. We are Get Clapped. Yeah, like Might be something good this way. Ooh, so the ship Forget actually that. does not appear to be in the launch site now. That's very well, interesting. We're season 6. That's true. This is season 6, so everyone may not be used to it. We just started playing, we're not used to it. Uh, but we have two teams landing on each other. Um, we have Nautipop, which is landing Harvester. And I think Seven is going to be left there. That's the three. And let's see that. Get Cloud and land in the lava. No, they seem to be good. Yep, they are all set. Look at that vivid blue on that. Let's see if he pings the blue shield for his teammate. He does. He Good. does. Good. Good teamwork. We got Nauticop landed the train yard. See, look at that. Going super sweet. And Nauticop is the only one in the circle right now. Let's see what's here. Yeah, we're finishing each other's sentences. We're like, we're like the people in the uh, Muppets. The two up in the stadium. The two old guys yeah, in the stadium, yeah. Look at this, we got a beautiful Bloodhound skin. I'm actually surprised Jason's not playing Crypto. He's been really liking Crypto. Jason, come back to Apex, I miss you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so let's check out the teams here. It looks like the two duo teams could encounter each other first. However, if they were really in the um, that choke point around Harvester is really probably just gonna bring them together and make like a fragment. Um, right now, it looks like not a cop is alone by himself, mm. looting. Let's take a look up at a tree, one of my favorite places. Might be something seven, good this way. Yes. And looks like they found a. I forgot about vault keys. I missed the <laughs> vault keys. So they have to right. smash it or shoot it. Loba can take it. Either one. <laughs> They're figuring out what to do with it. There it is. Oh, and exactly. there's the, that's right. He's never played There's before. the vault key. So if he picks up that vault key, he can go to a vault and get some really great uh, loot. I think season six, they still had good loot in the vault. They did. Yeah, and good. now Loba can take anything from the vault as well, so it's very interesting. It's also very interesting to see that we are seeing no caustics, ramparts, horizons, anyone who is out of meta like after season one because no one 
has unlocked these characters yet, except for maybe Andrew, mm -hmm. who does seem to be a Pathfinder main. So yes, yeah, Pathfinder is a lot of fun. So looks like for um, if this is Zach, uh, the closest vault that he probably work himself to. Hopefully, he goes towards Nauticop, uh straight on, and he looks at his map and realizes where the vault actually are. Right now in Harvester. I am realizing there is another duo this time around. I, I believe we actually did see them last time, and Get Clap ended up being them. But it might be Mr. One Up and Catwood. That's just. I think from the my Epic Gamers like are two, two of the uh, players out. You think so? The, yes, I think And then four I thought them. it was. Alright, so there is four of them out there. So the Correct. two teams are the two Correct. out there. So I know Mr. One Up planned on playing. I bet you he is the number eight then in Fragment. All it right. is. I bet you it is Mr. One Up because, because he likes Fragment. And he likes Lifeline. Ah, oh, that's true. <laughs> we'll put the pieces together it's here. It's Lifeline. So he has a purple shield. He's looking good. He's roughly alternated an R99. Uh, just make sure he's got to get enough Hook light Hook up the ammo. controller, too, you could do his uh, PC. Yes. All right, so let's see what teams. As Mr. One Up works his way into the circle, he's got plenty of time. Um... Jason is approaching the awesome Andrew, and awesome Andrew is taking damage from the lava, um, <laughs> but is also a tank approach. Oh, he but, does oh. hit. Master trick shots. Yeah. Look at this. Oh, that drone's flying. Oh, not a legendary. Oh, right in the lava, I almost forgot what too. it was called for a second. We haven't, you know. That is called a drone. Cargo bot. Cargo bot. There we go. There we go. It's been too long. World's Edge, come back to us. Um, let's look to see who's going to get into a skirmish. My favorite it looks spot. like one up seven right now. Team four may have heard something right over this leg. Um, Andrew's awesome is in here in Harvester. So Harvester may be a, a choke point right now. Let's look. Let's go back to one up seven. Our first battle could be between the two last standing. Let's go to awesome. Andrew's awesome. It appears to be getting an aerial view right now. So let's see, we know the team seven is down there. Oh, there he is, right down there, down there. Yeah, doesn't see him. Let's go back to team seven. Does see him flying. The trails are up. So we do That's know. a beautiful trail. It was a nice blue color. Yeah, I've never seen that. They're always ugly. So, looks like Nauticops in the cage right outside. Kind of just waiting, picking grass. So let's go back to the action. His PC here. shut off. <laughs> well, I hope not for too long because we got two people approaching here. So one up, seventeen four it was on the chase. Chasing Andrew is awesome. It looks like they lost it, but we do have another team in Harvester at the moment. They're all coming together, working for that ring. Um, that choke point is going to be um, the, the vault to train yard. So let's check it out what the epic gamers are doing yes so they are looting at harvester as well i do wonder um i think that one up pc5 here we go someone is closing in on not cop hopefully he gets his computer backed up uh, here we go. We should be right up. Oh, there's not a cop. Oh, right out in the open. He's not been spotted. Oh, there he is. I mean, he's not moving. There he is. He's been spotted. Oh, he just he wait. just bumped into him. He didn't even realize. This camel that good. He may so not have even realized seven. that was a player. I mean, maybe maybe he knows that his you know the computer shut shut down. Didn't want that easy of a kill. Yeah, that's but. True. Um, being opportunist here. Oh, he was going right for that ball. Oh, uh, okay. So Zach went for the ball. Well, let's see what he gets. He's rocking Devotion Scout. I am very curious to see. He the... picks up the turbocharger oh, for the oh, Devotion. Oh. That is a much needed. GG. <laughs> GG's right. So that turbocharger is going to automatically let that Devotion fire immediately without that wind up time. He picks up the Golden Helmet. He picks up the golden bag. Might want to check out our map. Oh, uh, everyone is really clogged up. Let's go, let's go. Oh, oh, the map's we got the green and the yellow is fighting out. So with the Havoc, it's going to be hard to fire without that turbocharger far away. Um, he's retreating a little bit. Let's go to the teammate who is looting right ahead. So 
Dakotas. They are coming right from behind. Wow, it's really hard to... And there is not a cop still in the center of the battle. Not being spotted yet. So, get clapped is there. We got a fight going on. Looks like the lifeline is knocked. Taking out the lifeline before the teammate so that they can not get that quick res. Let's find out where the teammate is. Looks like the teammate has run. Oh, uh, we made zoom for it. So they don't even realize that the teammate's down. They're going to have to go back and try to res if they want a chance here. Uh, oh! Oh, he got finished. He's out of here. So it looks like PC3 is now by themselves. Oh, so unless close. they can get that reboot card. And then two and one are booting up. Blood oh. throws his ball. And he might have just spied Jason with that tactical ability. He should have scanned him. Mm -hmm. I'm very curious to know the lifeline that we have very far away. What is their loadout? So right now, lifeline. Well, it's not going to really help him out in this case. That was interesting because the other lifeline had an R301. And we all know who it is. So, really is. you know the Epic Gamers... Is doesn't look like he's trying to recover that barrier. He's only got 42 seconds to get there. If he puts his gun away, he might have a chance. Uh, but right now, he's running with his gun out. We do know that's a little bit slower to get there. We do. And they got 32 seconds. They should make it there in time as long as they don't stop to pick anything up. Now, here goes the battle. Ooh, it looks like they're ziplining right out into him. We actually cannot see enemies of each other. No, they didn't now. They passed each other. They went zooming. Looks like we got 13 seconds for them to make it. Oh, they didn't take the zip line of oh, opportunity. No. Eight seconds left. He's gonna go. I'll have to go all the way through that cave. And he's not going he to make it. Turns around. Epic Gamers is down to one person he in knows. the team. So, Beast of the Hunt is still on. You might, you might have had a smart move not to use that zip line because they would have heard that. That is true. And it seems like oh, they spotted him. He was in the right hand corner. Right behind them. Let's go. Oh, get got some shots. Taking damage from behind. Maybe some retaliation for a down two. It doesn't appear that they know where the damage is coming from yet. So maybe we can still see our solo run up and get some good damages. Maybe kill them both. So let's look here. Go back to the map. Um, with the single remaining teammate um, from the Epic Gamers is now. Running behind, get clapped. And it does seem like let's get up to um, eight and seven are getting rather close. Andrew but. Awesome has has is just on his own. Hopefully, has some really great loot. But looks like we're gonna have a great battle right now. Let's go back to get clapped, who's probably going to face the last member of Epic Gamers. They are close to each other. Ooh, there they, there are. they go. Oh, battles off. It's a Oh. Havoc. oh! It looks like PC1 on Get Clapped is got that kill. Boom. Nice shots with the hemlock there. I love the hemlock. So let's see. Looks like Get Clapped is working their way through everyone right now. Everyone took down a, a, a duo team. Uh, we're back to Team 4 right now. Who knows? Something is in the air. Something is coming. And they are creating a portal. And they are creating a portal right there. All right. All right. <laughs> Very quick portal. Did it even make, did it work? Did it make the portal? I don't think I so. Their ultimate is still there. It's still there. It kind That's of very it. interesting. So if it's under or over 99%, it must not make it. It, it canceled the ult out, which is nice. Mm -hmm. So it looks like we're going to have a battle here pretty soon. We're going to zoom in on the map. Um, so one up eight is very close to get clapped at the moment. Looks like they may hear them. Oh, he does and see they them do down. Have a sight. Can they get the shots down? Oh, 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 down to the count. Maybe they can get that quick minute. He's trying to take down that shield. It's hard to do. He has a choice right now. He has Spitfire has plenty of ammo. He can push to eliminate. Uh, but remember, there is another teammate. The other teammate may be right in the corner. Oh. He takes him out. I think that's smart. Dodge some bullets. Oh, and we got the Hemlock single fire firing down on him. So we're going to have to see what he will do. 
So as oh, he approaches, get clapped in the corner. One v one. He sees him in the corner. What's going on? Kenny retaliates. Oh, he's got his gun out. Oh, in there. He throws a punch and he wipes him out. He still has a chance. He has 62 seconds to recover his teammate. He's gonna loot this box real quick. Let's check out where everyone is. Looks like Andrew is awesome and. They seem DC to be seven. approaching each other. They this know each could other be here. the final two battling now before they're the final two. So Andrew Lawson just had some bullets come by his head. Ooh, tossing out that thermite nade. I don't think he knows exactly where that came from. Yeah, uh, very um, long range scope on the flat line there. Meanwhile, PC1 is going to revive his team. <laughs> And oh, devotion. Oh, wipes him out. Nice play using the combination of scout and devotion. I mean, you go from a single shot rifle to a really full, fully automatic energy weapon. That was a really nice play. Um, and well, well done. I well think done. it's all. I think it has a lot of great points and how well it plays. <laughs> yes. <laughs> that that had to be the reasoning behind this. So. so we are down to two teams right now, a solo and a duos team. Let's go look at uh, team four, uh, PC7. I believe this is Rue. Yes, I do believe so. It could also be Mr. One Up playing as Wraith, okay. but we do not know. But that, I'm gonna just bet on. Rue. So he backs out of a single fire gun um, with devotion and goes to a flat line, which I think is a really smart move, knowing that he's coming into the end game, the end circle. It is, and he's closer to the circle. So let's check out that duo team. Get clapped is, you know, that ring's coming in. That ring's gonna hurt. PC2 is still looking for some blue. He's got one flip. Of if they don't make it out of this ring in time, this could Ooh, be it. Oh, we didn't take the zip line. This could be it. This ring is gonna hurt. This ring may be the end the of PC number two. Is straight ahead. <laughs> PC1. Oh. Oh no. So what is it? What is PC1 gonna do? Are they gonna try to turn around or no? Looks like they're leaving their teammate. They kind of know there's no chance at this point. Oh, he's running for the care package. They see the care package, and they're like, you know what? A Prowler won last game against this person. Maybe I could get a Prowler again. So, oh. PC7. He's sneaking up. And PC1 are against each other right now. Oh, no. It looks like 7 is at the same care package that one was just at, but... So one is going up on top of Bloodhound Trial. Oh, there is another, another care, package. care package. Smart move. If he gets a Kramer right here, this could be it. Oh, he already had. Of course, he already has a gold helmet. What are the chances of that? No point in that. So nothing he can use in that care package. Let's see what um, PC oh, One got. The best care package: a purple extended sniper mag. Mister One Up also plays Wraith and Bloodhound. And Rampart. Andrew got first place last time, but I believe that Andrew got, what was it? Just to give everyone kind of a perspective here on um, where, we're, where we're at, it looks like, looks like PC1 kind of knows the area. They're on the same side of the trial, the Bloodhound trials. PC does have the height and is watching that zip line. Though. So we do know what placement did Andrew get? I don't think that PC7 knows at all where the other player is at this moment. Uh, the they are a couple of So we're looking at right now, PC7 is out of view of um, PC1. They PC1 may goes into trials. I really hope he doesn't activate the trials. But they may not know about the trials. So they may just try to activate it right here and just no, he decides to go back up the zip. He has no, there's it. Yeah. He's like, no. Not gonna happen. Nope. Good that's idea. Not. See if he can get that cargo box from here. It doesn't we have to shoot it now if he's gonna shoot so it. So where is our other one? They are approaching the circle. It seems like they're trying to go behind. So if PC7 takes the zip line, they should really surprise if they're on top. So we can see from this view right here, seven and one, if you can see both teams. Let's go back, let's see if... Oh, they are going to battle right now. I think they're he's out spawned of PC1 sees PC7. Maybe not. They're right next to each other. Oh, yeah. They're where they have to lose each other. Oh, there we go. There's 
like seven units in the straight thing. Oh, we got the zip line oh, right up there. the kill leader and the champion. Well wow, done. Look at that. Um, nice game. Nice game. I hear some celebrating in the other room. Yes. Good job. There we go. Yeah, we can get the clap in the other room. Excellent. So PC1, PC2. Great job, champions. I do wonder if that goes on their stats. I wonder if that goes on to the tracker and they get the badge for it, like in this game mode. Because then you could really cheat to get some 20k badges. I, I might be. <laughs> <laughs> Not that we would ever do yeah, that. Yeah, I know. And we never condone cheating. Yeah, just set up 20 game center PCs. Well minimal. played, though. Well played. Excellent. So let me get, bring up the match stats here, guys, so you can see it. So we do know mm -hmm. that Get Clapped took number one spot. They are the champions. Uh, with four kills total. Um, you know, over almost 800 damage total combined. And then uh, PC7 was second place with one kill and 243 damage. Um, team 3, Andrew Awesome, who was our last champion, had no kills and 20 damage. And then we, of course, we have um, Team 5 and the Epic Gamers right behind them. And then not a cop on bird is trash on team six with no kills, no damage, but we all know that kind of shut down. So yes, I'm gonna wait for confirmation from Catwood to see that he recorded everything here. But well done, get clapped. Thank you for being the second champions of the night during our Apex Open. Once again, I want to thank everyone here at One Up Games for making this happen, and especially EA for writing us code so that we could do this. It is our One Up Games first custom matchmaking PC tournament. Thank you, all players. Uh, it's actually a lot of fun, and you're giving and us sure practice. Make sure you bring some friends next time, too. We can get like a full lobby going here. We have many other spots we, available. Yes. So approximately 14 more teams could be here. Let me make sure here comes Catwood. Okay, we're back. So the scores have been recorded, um, and we are getting ready for our next game. If you type exclamation point bracket, it should bring up a link to the bracket if anybody wants to, watch oh. wants to see it. Excellent. There you Excellent. go. Exclamation mark. What place bracket. did Andrew get? Andrew, I believe, was in fifth place that last game. Third. Third? <laughs> Third. Third place. Listen to Ryan fifth, on that one. Fifth place was Jason, I believe. Okay, I trust Ryan, so. I don't even trust me. I do, I do. So, First time um, so hope I don't disconnect is now. Uh, is gonna oh, be, I like the old name. <laughs> <laughs> it's team number six. So team eleven and team twelve and team sixteen. So you have. A, I'll give you a few seconds here to name your team if you want to. If you don't want to, that's absolutely fine. Andrew is awesome. I know that you're. Uh, um, you named yourself what? Jojo Stan. Yes, Something Jojo like Stan. So we're gonna give it. 10 more seconds if you want to name your team and then we're going to launch and this will probably be the last round of our apex open um, oh and we do have we do now know that that is relaxus that is mr one up and that is catwood what is catwood this one pc5 because he said that he was hopping in oh really oh and we have three more pcs that are just hopping on one it. two team one team two excellent look at this here we go look at that beautiful and it's our third match. It is our so third match. So that means it is time to go to the third party central, Olympus. Dun, dun, dun. Dun, dun, dun. Okay, so we're going to Olympus. This should be fun. 
And here we go, we're gonna launch. You have five seconds to name your team. Other than that, you are lost. Five, four, three, two. Here we go, Hello. Olympus. Good luck, everybody. Welcome to the Apex Games. <laughs> so I'm really happy that this, this works. This well, I'm really happy that this event that's going on now in pubs and ranked is um, not using Olympus. That's true. I, I you know, I love Although Olympus. It will come back. I get sick of Olympus. Uh, it's just one of those maps. Although you know what, recently you and I have been getting more wins. On yeah, we've it. sort of learned it by now. I feel like the Pathfinder Arena actually closed it more. Yeah. Like, it made it less third-party central. King's Canyon had a lot of third parties. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Although, King's Canyon World's Edge, I miss greatly. I'm really jealous of everyone able to play it mm. um, tonight. It's one of my favorite maps. It was, I was kind of bored on World's Edge. Next time, you should definitely bring some of the Apex players in your household. Yeah, I'm don't, all on the scene. Don't CNC. say that too loudly, <laughs> because what will happen is when I go home, they will, you know... Why didn't you bring me? We absolutely, they absolutely could have come and played here. I'm sorry. Know what we need? We need Bird and we need Sonder to be on the team here, here. at the game center. Absolutely. We need, who else is PC? We have if a club. If Sonder and Bird make it here to one up games, I will buy you pizza. It's on me. So you guys, Bird come on. Here. Come on in. You should probably clip that. Jason's probably going to clip that one. <laughs> <laughs> GM oh, yeah, bird. Put him in the debt. Okay, here we go. We are up live above Olympus. Spewing Andrew Awesome 122. I say we land champion, here. Our very first champ of uh, Apex. That is there. true. So Who knows? They might be able to. Oh, they might be able I to say we land around. here. Again. So let's see. It looks like he's going to go to the um, Andrew Awesome has jumped. Nodakop has jumped. Um, Andrew Awesome is heading towards Guardians. So let's find out where he is. I bet not a cop's going to his teens. Let's go this way. Oh no, he's going. Going. No, it is fight, fight night. night. Yes. It is there. So two teams jump on each other. Someone so, is going to fight night. Looks like. Uh oh, we're we still have more people that need to jump. And they just jumped out. Okay. Okay. Flying. So, and <laughs> one is going to jump to their death. We want to watch this happen, everybody. I know, I just saw a PC5 on the slowest decline ever in there as well. The clouds? Yes, so yeah. it looks like this <laughs> slowly off the road. Look at a nice outside view of Olympus's rings, just in case you've never seen them before. It looks good on the left, and to look to our left. So let's go somewhere where there could be some, some action. Wow! Uh, <laughs> Watching <laughs> grass <laughs> grow. <laughs> Alright. So we have. PC1 and PC8, it looks like they're going to be, they're real close together. I don't know if they see each other based on where they're, they're mapped. Position. Yes. What's in the shop next? Jason, you like to torture me with this stuff. <laughs> I'm hoping for extreme measures off team, personally. I think it's going to be a skin. So PC8 is very close to PC1 right now. Let's look at the action on PC1. I, like... <laughs> This is, is this, is this what you do, Rat? This like, is, is this the lawn doctor, like? <laughs> yes, exactly. This is, are you feeling okay? This is Jay's lawns right here. This is how nice they how are. How luscious they are. Oh, go back to Pathfinder. So let's go back to some action. Um, PC3 is looting. Let's see, they have an alternator that's going to grab and their vault their second. Um, it's a good combination. The alternator is buffed. Um, so... I really enjoy it. It does have a little bit of a slower fire rate, but it's just an excellent weapon. It's so great for him. It just it has that spread that the Mastiff have, where, it's, where it sort of falls off horizontally instead of vertically. Yes. So that's really nice. So it looks like Nauticop and PC7 are getting close together. They may see each other at this moment. Uh, we do see that PC7 is running almost directly at Nauticop. He doesn't even know they're coming. Um, oh, my. Let's go to... Yes. Where is Nautikop? There he is. He's looting. He does hear them. He does know they're coming. He's waiting. Oh, he's oh here we go. Shield up. Oh, back. Kenny Jay. Oh, oh, slide. Nautikop with a beautiful slide kill. Someone clipped that. That was great. The mod wipes out the admin. Ooh. Look at that. Those are fighting words. He'll settle that one next time he comes into the gaming center, I'm sure. Mm. Um... Great job by Nauticop right there. 
That's the, the Apex skill coming in. The excellent movement uh, that Apex has. Yeah. So, who could be not a cop's next potential uh, victim here? They're very spread out. I think we should get back to PC1 and see how, see what they're uh. We get they're some doing. of that music. Do, 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 do. They get that beautiful skin too. PC1 Sucks is so just off. really enjoying Olympus at this moment. They right? are. It's look just... at how happy they look. Raven. Yeah. So PC3 and PC8 are close to together, and looks Ooh. like not a cop just kind of deep. Who did that? That might have been Awesome Andrew, who just took damage. Perhaps? I just saw them take damage. I, I do not know so why. So it looks like Awesome Andrew scans, so we all can see where the next circle is, where the next ring is going to be. Um, PC8 and PC3 are real close together. I don't know if they hear each other. So let's see here. It looks like PC8 is running away. I believe this is Mr. 1-Up. I'm not sure. Yeah, it's for, it's a guessing game at this point. But I think it's, it's a lifeline. It's got a car vibe. It's Mr. 1-Up. That's just science. Good point. Good point. So let's see how close they are and if they find each other. Nope, they are moving apart, PC8 and PC3. I thought that was going to um, turn into something. So let's go back to Andrew's Awesome, who someone else just scanned in the ring. Was Again, they just, they just reappeared. I'm not sure who it was. Um, oh, because Andrew did it. So he's still see it. I got it. Thank you guys for being patient. We're still learning this. Yes. Um, and the controls. I am curious how many viewers we have. But we can't really check. Nope. No, we can't. I can't. I can't. Well, I another can't. thing that we, we don't have in here. That we can't hear the game sound. So that is true. We aren't able to hear someone hears footsteps or things like that. So it's really just a visual thing for us. Need to get some of those FBI earbuds. Yep. I, I have to I, I you do. Yeah, you do. So you were you were in the FBI. Team twelve go, team twelve go. So let's go. And then let's see here. So it looks like we may have a battle going on here. Not a cop and PC eight are really close together. They do not see each other. Um Not a cop is still in a state's looting. He may hear. He may hear something. Let's see. He's looking. He's looking. He's looking. I love these songs because everyone shows up right. He does. He finds her. I believe he. Oh, maybe he's just getting the beacon. Maybe he's just looking for her. We do have the left shoulder. We do have a lifeline running. Ooh. And oh, there we go. That's a long range. Yeah, I believe this might be Jason versus Mr. One Up. Can he wipe two he does have Mr. One one night? And where, where did oh. he go? He just turned I'm confused the right there by that one. Let's just check over if they are. They're still he <laughs> Oh, oh no. not a cop punches Hunt Mr. Right one up in the face. face. He's just oh, eliminating all the OUG staff. One by one, that was with a punch. Um, too bad, it was a good battle. I actually lost Mr. One up there. I lost Lifeline for a second. I didn't know where. Yeah, they went, they went invisible. But you can't hide from a bloodhound. Hacking confirmed? No. <laughs> <laughs> There's a glitch in the matrix. Um, well played by not a cop. Well played. So let's go out here and let's go check in with PC1. PC1 does have the storm approaching. This may be our Pathfinder's last oh. animated breath. It's a beautiful view. So let's go back to PC3 and Andrew is awesome and not a cop. They are triangulating. Mm -hmm. And it seems like someone may be going for that golden good good at the hunter spot. I don't, I don't even think it has a name. So it looks oh, like hunter Andrew spot. is awesome. Maybe taking that zip line over to hunter spot. Hi, hunter. Um, hi, Max. Hi, Aiden. <laughs> Damn you. <laughs> so, because Andrew's also scanned, he does know that he is in the circle, but I believe not a cop also scanned, so he knows as well. Uh, PC3 is just kind of wandering at this point. And he's got does have the anvil receiver for the flatline. Um, you know, I love the anvil receiver, but I don't like it on the flatline. You would like it on the hemlock. 
That's uh, me. <laughs> no, no, not even that. I actually like it because the flatline kind of has a reduced rate of fire anyways. That's so true. Really, just a hair too slow. I don't mind it on the 301. It is pretty good on the 301. It's like a P2020. Yeah, except it, it still fires fast yeah. enough that you can, with the anvil. Um, so I actually have been using the 301 a lot more, surprisingly, because I was a big hater. So let's check in here. It looks like PC3 could be... One out there. I know. Sorry, Mr. Wano. Sorry. Oh, it looks like we hit, they're on top of each other. Andrew's awesome and not a cop are on top of each other. They do not see each other. Let's go up to not a cop. He is on top. He doesn't know that Andrew's awesome is right below him. Um, let's see. Over here. Andrew's awesome. Andrew's awesome is trying to. Have a little zip line. Every, every now and then, people have a little zip line there in fact. Yeah. So let's see if he does realize that Nauticop is up behind him. Making him very clearly seen on the map. And Nauticop is using blood. Uh, and here's the golden loot. Let's see what it is. Oh, oh. Oh, oh. 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 I feel like Jason's doing this just to annoy me, but the little bit of health. Thanks, <laughs> missing with the syringe. Yeah, Please syringe. <laughs> syringe. Oh. oh my god. So Andrew was also is crafting a purple helmet that I see there. It always helps. Let's see what else is going to make. But he has to be careful because not a cop is, does have height on him. I'm not sure that he realizes that. Looks like not a cop may have heard of a syringe crafting. And there he goes. He syringes. That's just for you, Ryan. Yes, I very much agree with that. You're still missing a little bit of health, though. Could you not a syringe? Well, I believe Andrew's Awesome has kind of made his way away from Nauticop. But Nauticop, I think he knew he was there. I think he saw him back and he was not sure where he was from here. If you go back to that gold long bow, he's looking over. He wants it. He's tempted. Now, does Nauticop know that he can actually take the terrible scope off of that longbow now and replace it with one of his own? He does now, right? <laughs> Uh, if, if this were any other map, I would, I would not pick up that longbow. Um, just Olympus because is very open. Olympus need to have that Between long range. Between the PlayStation weapon. Five building and stuff like that, it's it's necessary. Yeah. So Andrew's awesome is coming back around towards Nautical, and PC Three is just chilling out on the rafters. I mean, look at him. He's enjoying <laughs> He's the chill out there. Yeah, he is the industrial version of PC One. <laughs> yes. Can we go back to PC One? I think PC One is dead. PC One has it's too bad. Died. He had a, a nice view. If PC Three goes through those tunnels in front of him right now, he will come under Nautikov at the moment. They don't realize where each other are. They are looking. So let's go back to Nautikov because he doesn't know where the final circle is going to be because you are unaware of that. Yes. 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 Bye bye the bum. So let's see where this goes. Oh, there is a care package coming back. Now the cop might be able to get that if he sacrifices the height. He looks like he might not want to pick up that yeah, height. He's, he's hesitating. Well, I think he doesn't want to pick up that beach huh? What is it? That's true. I might be able to scan it again and then go down there. The there we go. No, he has to move. Everyone has to move. He realizes it and he makes that move. So let's watch Nauticop come in here. Nauticop is a pro at rotations. He is. Like, God tier rotations. Andrew Awesome is actually very close to Nauticop. I believe they are. Path seems to have slowed down a little bit just to get around that. Oh, he takes some shots on Nauticop. Andrew though. Awesome sees Nauticop. He puts on the sniper scope. Oh, 301. He's got that zoom. Only if he had that long ago, it's really handy right now. Because we know that Nauticop has two SMGs. So let's see what that cop is using at there. Oh, he has the PK. PK. Oh. You can't snipe with that PK when you do it. You don't. Who is using the third one? Not a cop. He's almost cracked. He's 
should be able to pick up that shield battery and just get it all back in the instant. So let's see. Oh, really? Andrew Austin. Awesome. Oh, Andrew Austin was awesome. oh, taking damage. He is cracked. Where did he even get hit from? He got hit from below. Not a cop is pushing. Oh, oh. He's zooming in with the beat guys. Reload. Oh, oh, one shot for the beat guys. After the disrespect. Well done, not a cop. Look at that, not a cop. Swiping these lobbies. Climbing the mountain Whapping right there. It. There he is. Let's see his one up PC3 is industrializing. He is just kind of hanging out on the pipe, mm -hmm. admiring the metal, maybe. There we go. Pathfinders do what Pathfinders do. Ain't nothing we can do. <laughs> it's a great quote, Ryan. <laughs> Uh, but it seems to be the trend of these games. Pathfinders like to just eat. They observe. They're you existing. Know? Pathfinder's Quest. It's it's a book. <laughs> it, is, it is a book. In fact, if you want to read Pathfinder's Quest, come down to One Up Games in Plainville, Massachusetts, where you will find Pathfinder's Quest right on the table for anyone to read. Uh, absolutely. Um, just open to, on the table. Free to turn the pages once you pay your hourly rate. <laughs> so let's look. Nauticop is still looting. Andrew is awesome. That was a good game, Andrew. Gotta awesome. go down. Podium. I know. Still on the book. Like a Minecraft podium? Like that's yeah, the spell that, book? That yeah, that's really weird. Absolutely. I mean, they, they do have real podiums, too. Not Minecraft. <laughs> you know? <laughs> religious, <laughs> president, stuff like that. Not, uh, not important as Minecraft. Like true, true. So, Nauticop... He yep. just climbed a tree. I think you learned that from me personally. He is looking for the final circle. Wondering. Does not know where this person is. I don't know if this Scruff person the... knows where he is. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't know where he is. <laughs> oh, loot. The storm is coming in. He does have a minute and 40 seconds, but it's going to hurt. It's going to hurt really bad. Yeah, he's going to have to start that run. Why he's picking up light ammo, I'm not exactly positive. Save it for later. That's true. Although, he does have a heavy weapon, so it makes me, <laughs> makes me a little bit curious. So, Donacop trying that you know, the, the bounce slide run. He is. He's but he, he's B hopping. He's feeling PC. He might start playing PC Apex. Oh, uh, we've lost him. We've lost him to PC. I, I think mean, can, as long as he's he playing can, Apex, I'm okay. Here we go. He, he gets the purple Marvin, everybody. Oh, Marvin. Doesn't really give him much to work with. Damn, he... and bother picking up the knockdown shield because he knows he doesn't beat up the Marvin. He doesn't beat up the Marvin either, like, you know, you've taught us. Oh. He sees. Oh, yeah. Some shots in and on him. Pathfinder. It looks like he's going to hide. I'm not sure he knows where he actually got shot from. Oh, now he no, does. He, he, he doesn't. He knows oh. he's going to have to get in that circle. This might be Catwood on this. I'm not exactly positive. Do not talk to he knows exactly what he's shooting at. See if he. He's got him in his sights. shield right now. He is. He's got one bar left. If only this was a Watson. So this flatline has no scope on it. It's going to be difficult to get this kill. He's going to get nothing. So he's going to have to get a little closer if he's going to get this kill. And there Ooh, goes the arc star. Oh, he almost <laughs> might have better luck than you know. a single fire. Because sometimes it's more accurate with his shots. A absolutely, absolutely. I agree with that. Now, <laughs> zipline right up. Put zipline right up to push him. But does he have his ult? That is, that would be yes, he does. He's got the E to E flatline out. Zipline. Uh oh. He's got a zipline. He's got to get there. And he's only got Plus so much here. more ammo. Not a cop realizes here. that he's down. The shield's pushing him. Let's we'll see if he can make something of this. Hide him behind the rocks. Him. He's gonna push him. Yeah. He knows that he has less shield than him, so he might try. There, the grenade goes out. That Ooh. could do it. That could do it. He tries to snipe the grenade. Oh, Ooh, the grenade almost hit. He's close. All right, here we go. We got the, we got the push coming in. He's sliding. <laughs> He's sliding. In. He made this on him. 
Destroying okay. from the very first drop to like now, just boom, well, wiping. Well, 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 is the champion. Is that two matches on the This is your champion. I, no, no, no. No, actually, Get Clapped won the second game. I remember that. I had no idea what I was doing. <laughs> <laughs> well, use, was your use your ult, use your ult. I'm with me behind the rock. Uh, yes, he got me. Good. Jason got. I, I, was, I, was I think fired. he got everyone. Yeah, he, yeah, yeah. he got all oh, three of you. That was well played. See how much damage Jay actually did. Good game, not a cop. I believe. I bet you he did around 700, 800. Yeah, let me my 750 and, damage. And you can see all the damage. What, what did I do? It's nothing. You were. I was number eight. You did 99 eight. damage. You did 99 damage. You, oh, okay. He was on one HP. Uh, Oh, I got another one HP. You could have punched. Oh yeah, that's yes. not. Yes. <laughs> he, he punched you. <laughs> How many kills did um did um not four. four four four. So he got. I wonder if um. He apologized. I'm gonna see. For... No. <laughs> You're no longer my favorite mod, Jason. <laughs> oh wow. Yourself. Let's see what happens when I click a not a cop's name. Nothing. Nothing. Imagine if it just showed like the highlights this of the match each stats. kill. Yeah, that'd be great. Um, we can sort by placement. All right, well, guys, thank you for participating, everyone who was here tonight in our first Apex Open. Uh, be sure to join in our next Apex Open. It's going to be on April 16th at 7 p.m. We will be here. Um, thank you very much, everyone who played. Thank you much, uh, everyone here at 1UP Games, and especially EA for making this happen. We really appreciate it. Uh, our next Apex event, for anybody wondering, is going to be Dub Day. It's going to be March 21st at 4.30 p.m., and we will see you then. Uh, good night, 1UP Gamers. See ya.